property in question is in this left-hand side building. I just want to show you what this is about. Gazebo park over here. The unit in question is in this building. This is the front side of it. this one right here that balcony there and that balcony there this is the property built in 2011 all right this is how you access the property right here that's the door going up those stairs there's a retail store on the lower level And the actual property starts above that metal awning. That's the kitchen right there and the living room on that floor. And then three bedrooms and bathrooms, one and a half baths. And then an attic storage where they have uh, a floored attic, heating unit, electrical panel, things of that nature. Okay, here we are. We got a retail stores on the lower level here i know there's a hair salon on the corner i'm not sure what the uh, status of the other ones is and uh, this is your property here in harleysville so stairs going up let's go check her out So you can see we got a bit of a hoarding issue here. As you walk in, you got the living room to your right. Nice size living room, family room. One big open room. Let's start on this side. We got half bath here. Place was built in 2011. Concrete slab, staircase going up over there, that's your kitchen over there, I'm going to show you that in a second. Over here, we give you a different angle, and we got a balcony over here. There's two balconies on this property. So, Pretty nice view. Very attractive development. There's your hair salon right down there. And I guess you can park out front too. That's cool. This over here is a closet. And uh, you can see all packs for the water lines. I assume uh, this is the original water heater since the place was built in 2011. No need to replace it. Okay. What do we got over here? That's a little coat closet. So this is just a bunch of junk. Um, Looks like the original floors were like a linoleum sheet and then somebody put this hard wood in here and is uh, holding it down with blue tape. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. I see some strange things in this business. This is a, a bay window here, which looks great. There's my car out there. 
and uh, don't know why it's so weather beaten, but uh, I'm sure a coat of paint will solve that problem. Yeah. So this is your view out your kitchen window. Some different kinds of houses over there, single family houses over there. It's a development of uh, different types of properties. doing the painting in here could use a paint job whole house could probably use a paint job but the appliances look good we got over here a little, little pantry got an island well the shit was out of here it's uh throw a coat of paint on this place i mean it's one of the easiest flips i've seen in years maybe the outside door Use a little paint, by the way. There's your lockbox on the right-hand side. All right, I got no power here, but let's... I got my phone on, so... Half light up, half light up. <clears throat> right here, we got the uh, washer and dryers. Don't know if they're staying. Can't promise that. But uh, there they are for now. All this junk, hopefully I'm going to get it out of here, but uh, can't promise that either. So this is your hall bath. So we got two and a half baths, actually. Two and a half. So this is your hall bath. You know, nothing fancy here, but those one pieces are, those one piece bath setups are pretty damn easy to take care of. Here's one of the bedrooms. Don't know why all the carpets are missing. I uh, assume it's from a flood that they had. They had a uh, heating system up in the attic. I'll show you that. And uh, here we are now on the third floor. It's two stories. It's a two-story house. But the, uh, the first floor is the retail shop. So we're three stories up. This is the master. Of course, lots of crap. But really bright room. Looks out onto the front of the house. Got another balcony here. With the views we talked about. I wouldn't mind coming out here for a cup of coffee or whatever. Pretty cool place. Obviously, all the windows, everything must be newer, newer, newer. Here's our master bath. So we've got a nice tub. Almost like a white shaker, I guess, but not really. A white cabinet. It's back here. Here's the commode. And then have your basic shower. So, looks like, you know, not a lot of upgrades, but decent, really decent house. Okay, so we're going to go up in the attic and I'll show it to you. But here's where I was told the heating system is up there. I've been up there. I'll show it to you. Uh, PVC. The PVC drain line for the heater broke and was dripping all over the house. And I guess they didn't know about it. I don't know why something so simple would cause such a big problem. But that's what I've been told. Can't verify the accuracy of it. This opening here uh, apparently leaked into the living room downstairs. I'll show you that spot. So this closet needs some minor repairs. Some sheetrock work. Big freaking deal. Piece of cake. Um, this bedroom door is locked. So I guess they got some of their private things in there. 
Nothing I can do about it. Let's see if we can get up here. Nice aluminum set of stairs. All right. Okay, so here's our insulated partial attic. It's not that big of an attic, but here's our heating system. This is what I was told. This was the drain line that cracked. It caused all the problems. So, I don't actually see from up here where, uh, where the leaking occurred. Here's your electrical panel. What else is up here? A bunch of duct work. And I uh, guess I don't have much more to show you. Don't know much more about the problem other than what I told you. All right, so let's go downstairs and I'll show you some of the damage that was caused by the leaking. Okay, so we're back downstairs in the living room. Here is, the sheetrock was already repaired. Somebody did a uh, amateur job on it. I mean... I look at this house, here's what I see. The closet upstairs needs to be replaced. You know, the units have to go on and make sure that everything works. You got some minor spackle work, a couple of sheets, and some flooring, some plywood in the closet upstairs. You got to paint the whole place. I mean, you got to probably tear out this uh, wooden kitchen floor or just finish it off. I mean, it doesn't look bad. So it just needs to be finished off properly. Do, do painting in the house. You're freaking finished. What else is there to do here? Unless there's some problem that eludes me, I think it's one of the easiest flips I've ever seen. So this is something that, you know, will cost a painting, carpets, and uh, some very minor repairs. This baby could be as good as new. Give me a call if you want to talk about it. 267-988-2000.